Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can keep up to date with all of my new content. Um, today's video is going to be very quick. I just want to give you um, like 10 quick tips about how I kept my skin clear and how I got rid of my acne. These tips should be able to help you. They helped me. So I just want to share them with you guys. Tip number one is changing your diet. For me, I recently, well not recently, <laughs> it was like three or four years ago, I transitioned into being a pescatarian. So before I used to eat meat, all meat, red meat, poultry, all of that. But now I only consume seafood and I do not eat any eggs. I don't eat dairy. So yeah. Since I became pescatarian, I have realized that there is a big change in my skin. My skin started to clear up and just started to look a lot healthier since I became a pescatarian. Actually, it didn't happen initially because in the beginning, I was still eating eggs and eating dairy. And by the way, if you haven't watched my video about why I became a pescatarian, then um, you don't know that I am lactose intolerant. So whenever I used to consume a lot of dairy, it would cause my face to break out because my body <laughs> just, it, it can't consume dairy. So once I cut out dairy out of my diet and cut out meat, I realized that my skin started to look a lot healthier and I started to get less acne. I'm not saying that you have to become pescatarian to get clear skin, but what we eat has a lot to do with what our body puts out. So you want to make sure that you're putting good things into your body. You want to have a balanced diet, consume fruits, vegetables, and get all of the necessary nutrition. Because if you don't, if you're consuming a lot of junk, it's going to show on your skin. Well, not for everybody. There are some people who I've seen eat so bad and lucky them, they do not break out. All praises to you. But if you're anything like me, your body is very sensitive to what you eat. So you might want to consider changing your diet and introducing healthier foods into your diet. Tip number two. This goes hand in hand with tip number one. It is just simply drinking water. You want to make sure that you consume water. Our bodies require water and water is hella good for you. It's so much better than it's so much better for you than drinking soda and all these artificial juices every single day. Consume your water you want to make sure that you have your daily intake of water. That's all. Tip number three. I have found that using all natural products definitely helped me to keep my skin clear. My skin did not like products that have a whole bunch of chemicals. And it also likes me keeping a very simple routine. So um, if you haven't, check out my skincare routine video. It's very, very simple. I wash my face with Dr. Bronner's Baby Unscented Soap. And then I moisturize with shea butter. And then every two or three days, I do a face scrub or a face mask. That's it. And most of the time, the face scrub and face mask that I do are do-it-yourself um, mask. So you might want to try staring away from all these chemicals that you're putting on your skin. And just give your skin a break. Just, yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's all. Tip number four. <laughs> you want to make sure that you get your rest. For me, I used to find that hard to do, especially when I was going to college and working. And even when you're working full time, sometimes it could be hard to get your eight hours of sleep every day. But rest is very important because whenever I didn't get a lot of sleep, it was showing my skin. I look, <laughs> my face looks terrible. It doesn't have a nice glow to it anymore. And I start breaking out. So you want to make sure that you get as much rest as possible. Because when you're resting, your body is rejuvenating and cells are rebuilding. And it's just like releasing the stress from the day. And that goes into tip number five, actually. You want to make sure that you reduce stress from your life. You don't need to be stress-free going into 2019. <laughs> Like stress has a major effect on your body's health, more than just acne. So you want to make sure that you keep your stress level as low as possible. Don't take things too personal. And even when 
And if you work in a very stressful job, try not to bring that job home with you. I know that can be hard, but whatever stressors you're dealing with, you want to try to find ways to cope with them because stress definitely affects your body and your skin included. So, yeah, no stress 2019. (laughs) That's what I'm aiming for. (laughs) Tip number six. You want to make sure. (sighs) Okay, before I get into this. I have seen people that do not follow this tip, and I think it's so nasty not to judge. But you want to clean your pillowcases. You want to change your pillowcases. Like, I I change mine every week. The least, if you don't want to do that, every two weeks. Because you sweat, and you have dirt on your face, and the oils and products that you put on your face all gets stuck to that pillowcase. And that's what you put your face on every single day when you're going to bed. And you don't want to keep putting your face on a dirty ass pillowcase. Wash your pillowcases, guys. And I also recommend washing your pillows or using a pillow protector. So you could put that over your pillow and then put your pillowcase on. You want to make sure that you keep those things clean because you're putting your face on that daily And if you don't keep it clean, all that stuff is just getting reabsorbed into your pores. And that's no good. That's, no, that's nasty. (laughs) Tip number seven, keep your hands out your face. Our hands get dirty. We touch a lot of surfaces. And if you're not washing and cleaning your hands on a regular basis, especially when you're out, when you're not home, you touch a lot of stuff and there's a lot of germs out there and most people don't even wash their hands. Well, not most. Some people don't wash their hands. And then you're going to touch stuff that they touch and then you don't want to put that on your face. So just keep your hands out your face while you're on the road. And even when you're at home, try to keep your hands out your face to the minimum. If you have to put your hands in your face, just clean your hands. That's all. Tip number eight. You want to clean your cell phone. Our cell phones get dirty because our hands get dirty too. And then we touch them. Our cell phones drop on the floor. We put them on all types of surfaces. Clean your cell phones daily because a lot of people get breakouts on their cheeks. And a lot of the times they're related to the fact that you don't keep your cell phone clean. So when you're answering your phone, I can't find my phone. (laughs) But when you're answering your phone and you have it pressed against your cheek like that, that's all that germs and dirt from all those surfaces that you had laid your phone on, the floor that it probably dropped on. That's all of it just going into your pores. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Just clean your phone. That's all. So I use um, Clorox wipes or any disinfectant wipes. Just wipe your phone clean and you'll be all right. Tip number nine, I have found that washing my face twice daily really helps me to keep the acne away and help to keep my skin clear. I wash it once in the morning before I go to work and once in the afternoon once I get back home from work and I'm done with the day. And especially after having a long day out with all the um, dirt that gets blown by the wind, dust, sweat, all of that, you want to wash that out before you go to bed. And talking about washing stuff off before you go to bed, I'm including into this tip is if you do wear makeup, it's a very, very good habit to clean your makeup off and wash your face before you go to bed. You don't want to fall asleep with all those products on your face because then they just get seeped into your pores and those cause acne and you don't want that. And tip number 10, last but not least, is to keep your skin moisturized. I've realized that when my skin is not moisturized, it breaks out the most. It starts to get dry and it's cracked. And I get a, you know, start getting little bumps all over. And yeah, my skin is a lot happier when it's moisturized. I just use simple shea butter to moisturize my skin, then that is it. And tied in with tip number 10 is to stay consistent. I realize that my skin likes consistency. It does not like a lot of changes in the routine or in my products. So I just remain consistent with my simple skincare routine. So I hope these tips help someone out there because it definitely helped me. I am no expert in this field. So if these don't work for you, please don't attack me. (laughs) But thank you for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoy my video. 
And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment below. Let me know what you do to keep your skin clear and what are some acne fighting tips that you might have for anyone else. So yeah, have a good day, guys.